and today I'm going to show you how to make some cages for some balloon garlands that can sweep all along your dessert table. If you do get value from today's video, please do consider subscribing to this channel and if you're feeling extra generous, I invite you to like this video as well. The items I've used today are either thrifted, they're from a 99 cent store or Michaels, so this is luxury on a budget. I do want you to know that if you can't find the exact same thing, just find something very similar. Make do with what you have locally. I do have another playlist called Dessert Tables, which I will link above, where there's plenty of tutorials to add a wow factor to your dessert tables really really inexpensively so now let me show you exactly what you're going to need we're going to need some foam blocks and these two gift boxes I got these from the Dollar Tree eight frames in total it's up to you what size I've gone for long and narrow balloons it's up to you whatever you use this is from the 99 cent store I got these from a party shop and these are from Michaels because I like this particular color palette spray paint we've got some bamboo trestles here from the 99 cent store two come in a pack some cable ties. Also got two packs of stones from the Dollar Tree. You can use rocks from the outdoors, you do not have to use this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our eight frames and remove the middle of them. Don't worry if they're not color coded. The main thing is that they're all the same size because you're going to spray paint them afterwards. So once you've taken out the center, you now need to get rid of these or if you can't be bothered, if you're like me, just literally push them back on towards the frame so that way it doesn't pop any balloons and just make sure there's no sharp edges. So once that's done, you're going to have loads of glass pieces. You can keep those for another craft project or as a little cake stand if you'd like to. I might do another video showing you how we can use these. I'm still not sure yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. So in the end, I decided to cable tie my cage together simply because super glue was taking far too long to dry and I don't have the patience. So I, to cable tie, you just want to get two cable ties each side, pop your frame on top, the first one is always the hardest, so just be a bit patient with it. It will wobble everywhere. Just don't worry, just get the cable tie on it nice and loose at first. The thing with the cable ties is it's not going to stand up perfectly straight, as in all the frames aren't going to perfectly align and that's absolutely fine. So tighten them all up, give them a good tighten before we cut them. And don't worry, it won't be perfectly straight and all of it's going to be perfectly lined up. That's absolutely fine. So just cut away all the spare. Make sure that the sharp side is away from the center because remember, we're going to be putting balloons so we don't want them to pop. Okay, so now that the cages are done, we need to start preparing the boxes. So to do this, I'm just going to remove the ribbon from the top. Then we want to get our foam block. We're going to put it in here. We're going to puncture some holes in the top so that the bamboo trellis can fit in. So I'm going to demo now for you. Grab the foam block, hover it over, get the right measurements, and I'm just going to saw it to size. If you don't have a saw, don't worry at all. Just use a normal bread knife or a normal knife. It's absolutely fine. And as you can see, I have a little bit extra there, so I'm going to saw that off as well that's inside we're just going to pop the lid on because we just need to measure where to where to poke the holes for the bamboo so you want to separate the bamboo about three inches apart and then just mark on the box where you want to puncture the holes now you can grab a normal knife a screwdriver anything that you would like take the tip and I just twist do it really, really gently because it will eventually go right through and create two little holes and repeat the process. Then you just want to do a test run and make sure that the bamboo goes straight through, which it does. And now we can pop in those rocks or you can use anything that you'd like to weigh it down. Quick heads up before we start spray painting. This color is called Copper Brilliant. It's from Michaels, $7.49 for a big one. Make sure you shake it thoroughly, put plastic down, and we're going to spray paint the cages and the bamboo trestles and the boxes as well. So make sure you get it all. As you can see, I've gone for a slightly more rustic feel. So I haven't gone over the top spraying it. I've left some glimmers of gold in the frame and I've just very gently spritzed it. Okay, so I'm no expert in balloon garlands. So this is very much new for me, just as much as it probably is for you too. 
So one thing I do know is that you want to keep things roughly the same size. So you want a few big, a few medium, and a few small. And you want to do them in doubles or trios. So for this, I'm literally just going to freestyle. So I'm just going to blow up a bunch of balloons, put them into duos and trios, and let's just fill this up and see how it looks. This is an example of a duo, and that would be a trio. Okay, so now we need to hoist the cages onto the bamboo. It's really easy, just get some cable ties, make sure you have loads on the table ready. It's gonna make your life so much easier. And it's up to you what direction you want to do this. You can have it straight if you'd like to, if that's your style. I personally want mine slightly slanted this way. So I want the direction to be towards the right. We want to put the cable tie right towards the back here, so that way we don't unnecessarily pop any balloons. <clears throat> and I'm going to do this one this direction. And now for putting the balloons in the cages, there really are no rules. You're just gonna have to play it by eye. Add more, add less, color code, do whatever you want to do, just gently pop them in the cage, see how you like it, and just keep going until you love it. the bottom area we're just going to blow up the balloons a little bit bigger and do some duos and trios and quads and just see how it all goes okay so the sunset yesterday so here we are at day two to complete the project and I decided to go back to the Dollar Tree because I feel like this balloon garland needs more flowers so I brought these lovely gray looking baubles and some ivory roses you can buy whatever you'd like to complete this little section all I did was blow up a bunch of balloons as you can see it's not attached but what you do is you lean the base of this towards the balloon. So kind of adjust it so that it looks like it's pouring in. And then I just got a little pink one to fill that gap. So you just wanna stick that down with a bit of blue tack, a glue dot, whatever you'd like, or you can make it just sit there. So as long as you don't move the table too much, and then you will have a sweeping balloon garland. And now I'm just going to cut the flowers, fill it up, and just put a few on the bottom, a few on the base, and dot a few around. And I'm going to stick some to the top here. One of the easiest ways to get the flower around is to just take stem and bend it so it creates a little hook like this and just loop it round. I have to say, I had so much fun showing you how to do that. And if you did get value, please do consider subscribing. If you had any ideas, suggestions, or tips of your own, please feel free to comment them below. And you may want to follow me on Instagram. It's Nadu Ray Afternoon Tea, just above, because I share tips on there that I don't always share on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, bye.